Hello, my friends and enemies. Glad you are here. Before we jump into this, I'd like to ask you to like the video if you think it was well done, subscribe if you like the content, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. But most importantly, share our videos. The Wheel of Time show has this concept that it tries to push or imply early on in the first episode at the end. The Emmons Field 4 need to flee home and find safety elsewhere, primarily Tarvalon. Each of the Emmons Field 4 are thinking about why they would need to leave. The show's writer makes Rand have to leave because he feared for his father and the town was in danger, which is close enough to let it slide. Matt is just piled in for some reason, but not any real reason beyond why Moraine says he needs to. Perrin feels guilty for killing his wife and has to leave. The trauma is eating away at him. But Moraine says the Trollocs are here for the same reason she is. For the four of them. Which is blatantly false. But she also mentions that one of them is the dragon. This is not mentioned in the books to the boys at all in the first book. Though there is some revelation at the end of book one. The Trollocs are here, and Moraine is here, for the three boys. Not a Gwen. But since they are trying to blur the lines between who could be the dragon for the audience and make it a binary choice when it isn't, they head to Tarn Ferry, the Whirlpool event happens, and the Trollocs show up on the other side. No one is in a hurry. They then run into White Cloaks for some reason, because I guess they needed Eamon Valda to be introduced in order to use him later, instead of just introducing him later. But they need a reason for them to meet later. Like seeing Perrin and Egwait. Twice. That's it. That's the reason. But instead of asking Moraine if she is an Aes Sedai, they just let them go. To be fair, White Cloaks would never believe an Aes Sedai would be forced to answer truthfully, but it would still be the logical question from Show Valda. So the party escapes. Then it's just a fun trot to the east for the most part. But Moraine's injury forces Lan to push the party into Shader Logoth to hide from Trollocs. Then the party gets split. But then eventually, episodes later, they all end up in Tarvalin. The stakes are never really that high. In the books, this is similar while being completely different. Moraine narrows down her search to the three boys. They were each born within two weeks of each other, and one of them is the one that she has dedicated her life to finding. When the Trollocs attack, she tells the boys that they need to leave the two rivers in order to save their friends and loved ones, that the Trollocs will pursue them instead of attacking the town. Lan butts in to tell Rand that not all farms were attacked. The only ones that were attacked were his and Perrin's farm, and in the town, only Matt's house and the forge were directly attacked. Some of their houses in the town were set on fire, but they were used as a diversion. This points directly towards the three boys as the main target, and is what Moraine and Land deduce. Telling them to leave makes sense, even though they do not know why. No mention of the Dragon Reborn. Rand had to leave in exchange for Moraine healing Tam, his father. Matt and Perrin were already rounded up since it's being told from Rand's viewpoint. No other reason than they are all in danger, and their presence endangers the town. That's it. That is the reason for them to leave. And it is a valid reason. No reason to make an imaginary wife for Perrin and fridge her just to give him a reason to leave home. His trauma didn't add anything to the story except to push him towards pacifism. Which is all he does in the show anyways. He has to leave, not because of killing his wife, but because the Dark One wants him. So on their way out, Egwene catches them and says she is coming too, and Morin accepts it. They go to Tarn Ferry after losing the Drakkar in a fog that Moraine uses. They never see the Trollocs, but they are still in a hurry as they know that eventually the Shadow's army will find their trail again. Pursuit is inevitable. Nynaeve chases them down in Barillon days after they left Emmons Field. The Trolloc armies pursue them from Barillon to Shadar Logoth, and then the party splits up. These Trolloc armies continue to pursue them all the way to Cainlin, and even surround Cainlin. 
trapping them inside. This pushes them to find another way out, which Loyal tells them a way gate is nearby. So they use it to flee. This pulls the Trolloc armies away from Kainlin. The stakes are high. So leaving in the show is random explanations, if any. Perrin's wife needs to be fridged in order for him to have his trauma, which is completely unnecessary since leaving the town is already necessary. It won't add anything to the story since his character goes completely the opposite way. But what can you say about Rafe's writing crew? And later on, they constantly say they would want to go home and keep forgetting that going home would bring the Trollocs back and this would defeat the purpose of them leaving to begin with. Leaving the books was as simple as leaving to save the two rivers from further destruction. It wasn't a hard choice, even if they wished they could just stay home. Egwene just wanted to get out of the two rivers and explore the world. She didn't even know she could channel. Nynaeve showed up in Barillon just trying to bring the four back to Emmons Field, but it's too late when White Cloaks get in the way of leaving Barillon, and then the Fades were back on the trail with their Trolloc armies. No going back home. To conclude, and repeat in some ways, the only reason needed to leave was that danger was following them, and to save the ones they love, they had to leave. There really isn't a reason to go the way the show went. That being said, thanks for watching this video. Look out for more videos explaining more of the series content and what could have been changed to make it better than it was. Likely, there will be more information on things only touched on in this video, so stay tuned. Walk in the light, my friends.